Okay, so um, the next thing that Rashberg guy did in his tutorial is he put a pit in the middle of the room. Okay, now remember, looking from front and side view, there's our outer box, that's the bottom of the box, and that's the bottom of the inner carved out box here, right? So that's the floor inside our room, and that's the base of the entire outer box. So the floor is really deep, that's the floor of the inside of the room and we've got all this depth to the bottom of the outer box right so what we're going to do is this we will um, go here to the BSPs and we can get a cylinder and I've still got the snap set to 50 I'll bring in the cylinder and s just drop it in the middle of the room like that it snaps to the grid Bob right now when you bring in a cylinder it's always an octagon to begin with uh, in the details here with it selected you can change the number of sides you can make it 12 sided just zoom in and show you this 12 sided you can make it 24 sided you can make it 48 sided whatever you like and the more sides it has the rounder and rounder it becomes right so I'll just make it 8 sided again the default right, there's the octagon let's make its outer radius bigger let's make it an outer radius of 600 there it is, right. Okay, now looking at side and front view here, there's the octagon, okay. That's the bottom floor of our of our room. There's the octagon there. The octagon cylinder. So let's set a height for it. Let's make it three hundred high. That's the octagon cylinder, okay. And there's the top of the octagon and we're gonna bring it down and snap its top to the floor inside our room. Now we've got a 300 deep octagon cylinder with its top edge exactly flush with the floor but there's still um, at the bottom of the octagon there's still this 50 gap before the final outside of the outer box right. So this octagon which is now flush with the floor for its top doesn't reach the bottom of the outer cube. Okay. So there it is, flush with the floor, the top of it. Okay. We make it subtractive, build, and it carves that octagon out of the floor. Okay. Okay. So now um, let's just save that. I'll keep, I've done this four times, and it's crashed four times on the trot before I could finish it, this part of the video. Okay, let's um, go in and have a look at that. Select the floor, right click, play from here. Oh God, it's gonna crash again, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's gonna crash. It's, oh no, okay. So there's the octagon, carved out of the floor. It's 300 deep. Whoa, whoa, it's 300 deep. So if I go in it without some fancy wall jump, and I haven't got my keyboard set up to do any of that, um, you can't get out. Right. Uh, let me just try and do one. No, I can't get out. Oh yeah, well alright, I did manage it, but you know. So the next thing we're going to do, let's just save that. It crashes all the time, as I said. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll put um, a couple of jump pads in here to jump out of the pit. So in your content browser here, have the content, the main content folder selected. So you're going to search everything and search here for base jump. Okay, you want this base jump pad, not the big one. Well, you can use the big one, but I'm going to use this normal size one and I'm just going to bring it in and drop it into my pit like that in my into my octagon pit there boom like that in the top um, in the um, side and front view let's just zoom in and make sure it's snapped to the floor of the pit yeah yep it is snapped right on the floor inside the pit now if we zoom right in we can see look there's this thing saying jump target with a blue diamond see that 
yeah jump target with that little diamond and from above top view there it is jump target it's a blue square if I click and select that I've now selected the jump target okay so you can now move the jump target around that's where the player will end up when they step on the pad right so first I'll bring it up higher so they jump out of the pit this is the floor of our room there right no that's the floor so they're jumping out of the pit then I'll move it across here so they jump out that way right, they're going to jump out of the pit like that but I mean they could jump over to there or they could jump over to there you know whatever you like okay so that's that done let's um, save that in case it crashes let's go in and try that play from here yee there's the jump pad lovely okay um, let's duplicate that now so we've got one each side again that's what the guy did in his tutorial but I'm just doing it I'm explaining it more slowly for beginners right so select that um, jump base base jump right hold down alt drag off a copy put it on the other side of the pit and move the jump target so they jump out that way okay so now that one's jumping out of that way like that yeah. yeah okay that's done save that okay let's try that now play from here Got two jump pads now yeah okay save that and then in the middle of the room let's put a weapon um, so I'm going to do this with front view here I want to put the weapon right on the bottom of the pit there in the middle so we go to our content here and I'm going to search for weapon base okay um, here we are look we've got all these different weapon base I don't know why there's one called test and test 2 and test 3 and test 4 and test 5 but I'm going to get the one just called weapon base right, I'm going to drag it in and snap it to the floor of my pit like that oh, it's a bit high, hang on well perhaps it's meant to float like that, I don't know but anyway, I'm going to bring it down and snap it to the bottom of the pit like come on like it's still not quite on the floor like that it's right on the floor now okay come on so it's on the floor of the pit but we don't know where it is this is just looking from front view so it's on the floor of the pit but we zoom out here from top view and it's actually over here so let's snap it into the middle of the pit like that now we've got a weapon base in the middle of the pit and with it selected we go up here to where it says weapon in the details weapon type we choose which weapon it will be I'll choose the rocket launcher okay, let's save that okay let's try that out play from here yeah rocket launcher Okay, and then you know if you want to put some ammo in and stuff, you search for ammo. And where are we? Look, rocket ammo. There it is, rocket ammo pickup. So I'll drag that in and put it on the bottom of the floor like that. I zoom in. Yeah, rocket ammo. It's on the bottom of the floor in that plane that view so let's now look from the top view and see where it is let's bring it inside of the room right now put it in the corner there's some rocket ammo and then alt I'll drag off a copy of that rocket ammo and put another one over in that corner like that there we are pile save let's try that there we go we've got the rocket ammo now yeah. Oh, 
lovely. Save that. Okay, now next, just um, add a few t textures to things, right? And the best way to do that is to start off with one texture on everything, and then you add other textures to other bits. So I'll just select any plane. Okay, right click, select all, and it selects every single plane in the map. Don't worry the fact that the jump pads and what have you are selected as well, they won't get textured. Right? But everything's selected, right? <coughs> now I'll search here for um brick. And I'm gonna go with the um M shell brick, just drop it on. Everything gets coated in M shell brick. Everything, inside, outside, everything. Right? But not the weapons or the jumps in my view. Okay, and then I'll select just the floor and I'm going to search for flag stones. I'll go with this flag stones, put that there. Come on, come on, do it. There we go. <coughs> and we can have those in the bottom of the pit as well, like that. Okay, there you go. Um, and if I wanted to, I'll show you a little thing here. Let's go in like this. When you're putting textures on the sides of a particular object, right? let's say we're going to make the inside of the pit walls different. So I select one of them and I'm going to search for, let's say, I don't know, metal. Let's see if there's some sort of metal. Um, metal wall right and chuck it onto one of those oh, won't let me do that no metal wall okay let's try what else we got uh, what about base metal gray let's try that yeah boom come on build it okay now i've coated that surface of the inside of the one panel of the inside of the cylinder pit. Now I can select another plane of that same BSP, hold down shift, click and it'll coat it with the same material. Come on, do it. Come on. Oh great, it's not doing it now, what well, it should. Shift, select shift, no, not doing it. Well, it should. Oh well, it or it usually does it. But not in the case of this particular texture. Okay, fair enough. Maybe because it's a subtractive thing I'm adding to. I'll just coat these like that. So it's a bit of variety. Like that. And that's it. Save that. And that's it, really. That's some basic stuff there. Right. There's some kind of basic stuff. Um, let's move on and look at some other stuff. 